that should work. So that's another load there. Pull forward a bit. And park that one there. So this setup is more how the pack was designed. You've got these what I call AR frames. They're basically uh, different frames that do different tasks. This is a flatbed with auto load, obviously. And when you disconnect it, it drops down onto legs and you can drive the truck out from underneath it. Obviously this won't work in this format because the trailer is going to hit that frame as we drive away. It has the full range of... Uh, um, what is it? I'm going to turn on the GPS and then I can... Can I use the mouse? Why can't I? Uh, I have to do that. Now we get access to the mouse. So, where is it? right here you can use it does square bales and then skipping through that round bales ultima round bales um, i'm not sure i've ever come across those 1.4 1.5 hd bales pallets big bales large pallets of timber small boxes and back to square bales so very useful in the auto load department um, we can turn off the gps again we are done in this neck of the woods for now. Um, anything I don't mention is in-game giant stuff, so things like the Kramer in-game giants, although this is part of the CSZ um, sort of front loader attachment pack. Uh, this has an auto load feature as well and will stack either two round or two square bales it looks like the interface shows it's capable of doing three square bales, but darned if I can figure that out. It has the ability to um, let's see if I can figure this out. There you go. So you can raise the um, the forks by the length of the frame and also that back frame makes it more stable holding multiple bales. Good morning BM, what's it, BWV Buzz and welcome to the stream and thank you for the comment. So we're done back here at Land Rover. Now the Land Rover is also a mod, and as far as I can tell, it's a Landy Kid mod or Virtual Farm. Let me check. Millfold's uh, mod list. Open Sicily. Okay, vehicles, Land Rover, Virtual Farmer. And it is, at the time, the only right-hand drive vehicle I found on FS17. Yeah, there you go, the Virtual Farmer logo on the radio. Um, it's fairly basic, but functional. And since we're on a British farm, uh, I kind of figured we should use one. Um, now, there we go. You can open the door, you can wind down the window. So you can open the hood. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, I think that might have opened the back door. I can't see. We can open that door. Come back to here and open that door. So interactive controls. I can jump out. We can check out the engine. can jump on the roof doing that. Um, yeah, and the back door opens as well. Um, 
and there's a trunk inside which doesn't seem to do much. But nice little truck for running around and doing stuff that doesn't involve running all over the world. Close that, close that, close that. So I'm fairly sure I got all of those. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that's in that state. Um, so this is an unloaded AR frame trailer. Um, I have two trailers on this farm and uh, the two trucks as well. T generally run them all in tandem. Is there anything in here? Uh, bales and... Uh, ooh, that one's not full. Uh, stacks of sugar beets. Did that a few years ago. Stick them in boxes because they store better than piles on the floor. My AR frame storage, we have the cattle trucks, the agro liner type tippers, and some log frames. The log frames are also auto load, but I found them to be unreliable. I think a lot of the Farm Sim 17 um, logging trailer, auto load logging trailers were very unreliable. Oops, wrong one. So, who's next? The next person is Smetty, um, also known as CMT Software. He has a Facebook page. We have here the class Ax Axian. No, Zarian. And I like this tractor. It's For this farm, it's... I, I don't feel it, it reaches its full potential. It's got the all-wheel steer, rigid frame, which I prefer to the flexible frames of things like the 4-track and the New Holland T9. Um, I do find problems when you're turning the wheels and trying to move forwards at the same time. You have to do one, then the other, because half the wheels are going in reverse, half the wheels are going in forwards. And when you push the accelerator, it just says, I, I don't know. But nice tractor, goodly amount of horsepower. We've, we've only got a small one. It's the 4000 series. And then he also produced these two, these Axions. They're actually the same model, but he gave us paint options, which don't usually feature on class equipment. So we've got a nice black one and a green one. This one I bought as starting equipment, and they're both 940s. I believe you can get them in... Let's take a look at the mod itself. Actually, let's go to... Zerian. So, the Zerian 4000, 4500, 5000. That's it. You can get them in green, black, or white and with red, black, or grey wheels. Um, no other options on the Zerian. But as I said, nice tractor. It does come in real handy for levelling um, silage. This is the 900 I got. You can get the 920, 930. So 920 starts at 320 horse, uh, 350, 940 is 380, that's what we've got on both of ours. And then 410 on the 50, 445 on the 60, and then we're done. Uh, comes in green, black, or white. We didn't have a white one. Wheel setup, standard wheel weights, wide tires, twin wheels, back to standard wheel color, red, black, or gray, and design black part, chrome part, black part facelift, chrome part facelift, and of course we can't see any of those in the store. He also does the 800, the 800 has not featured on this farm. Starts at 205 horse, up to the 870, 295. So we've got a good range of um, class equipment from Smetty. For Farm Sim 19 he only produced the 900, then the rumours started that uh, 
we were going to get uh, class as the expansion and so he didn't produce the rest of his range for 19. As I said, I haven't I haven't used this one. This one I have used extensively. Love the tractor. This I bought when I needed another big Zeri axe or another big tractor. And then I figured I need three of them, so we've got lots of them. So that's Smetty CMT software. He does produce things like Fent Favorite 800s and some of the Fords. This thing here attaches to the back of a tractor when you're logging. Now, what is it called? It's by 50 Kada or Kida, and is also available in Farm Sim 19. So you reverse up to it. So when you're in a forest, what you can do is lower the back so it digs into the ground. And there's this chain here. I can't remember how to do it. But you basically, let's pull up the help menu. Uh, o. So I press O and that gives me a hook. And I can then wander off to logs and just tap each log as I go and it will chain them all together out to the full length of the chain. And then you come back here and you reel it in and it will reel all the logs in and you can use this to get them all straight and then you can just wander down the trunks and chop them into easy lengths. So, kind of handy. I haven't used it that much, but uh, I bought it. We used it, I think, before I started streaming, and I never sold it. So, there it is. Uh, so, I can drop that there. Massey, obviously, in game tractor, and everything attached to it is also in game. Is that everything at this yard? No. This Biobelts LF180 log fork made by Toxic OM. Toxic, I think, has a zero as the O. It is a four prong fork and works much better than the in game log fork. Uh, is it on front loaders? Yeah. So the in-game log fork only has a single top grab, two rigid grabs at the bottom. The bio belts has two at the bottom, slightly wider stance, and two at the top. Creates a much more stable um, grab for trees, and featured heavily in one of my earlier episodes. And is available in Farm Sim 19, so yay. Um, more of the AR frames, auger wagon, I've loaded with seed fertilizer, liquid fertilizer tank and a diesel tank. Come in handy when stuff runs out of whatever it's using in the field and we can go back again and fill it. So that is all of the mods featured on the main farm. So the complete AR frame pack GTX row uh, created and Smetty did the two tractors or the three tractors that we're running um, and everything else is elsewhere for now so we will go back to the BGA and unload this thing Four. 
it's not very straight. That might make things a little more likely to fall in, or not. Sometimes these things just don't work out the way you want them to. There we go. And oh. uh, J to raise the drop area. So actually one of the first uh, auto unloads that I believe came with uh, a positionable unload point. Um, the early unload frames were unload left, unload right, unload on the bed and unload to the rear. So we're currently looking at left side unload where the little red grid is. I push it again, it's on the right side, back and I push it again, that will unload onto the deck. So you can unload your bales onto the deck and then uh, um, strap them down. Because at the moment that, that's just a virtual bale. It looks like a bale, it moves like a bale, but it's not really recognized as a bale in game. We'll drop that in as well. But this system now allows you to move the unload. If I come over here, I'll be able to see it better. Oh, it won't let me unload because there's nothing on the back. But it lets me move the unload point to the left, right, um, and higher or lower. So you can actually use this to stack bales. And I've used that feature quite heavily in this playthrough because the bale trailer that we have, auto stacker, uh, is too big for the barns. So I can't unload bales into the barns from the bale stacker. So heading down to the cow farm. the trailer into them. That will come full. So over at this yard, what do we have? We have CSC Big Bucket. Very nice. Holds just shy of a, it's supposed to be a 4,000 litre but it only loads to about 95%, so we don't get a full bales worth of stuff. Uh, this, same thing as I'm using up at the uh, cow farm, and this is a mixer wagon, which holds 22,000 liters on the AR frame. So normally I'll do two hay, two silage, one straw if I'm doing bale mixes otherwise I'll do two one and fill it up with silage from the bunker now the bunker we have about 900,000 litres in here I think almost exactly 412 
over 900,000 litres. We've used a little bit to feed the cows once, but that's going to last us 20 years. <laughs> the rate I go through it, I don't use a lot of silage at this yard. Oh, yeah, there are some other things at that yard. As soon as we get back to the BGA, I'll see if we can unload at least one load. Actually, I'll push it up to a times five because we kind of not doing anything at this stage except unloading bales. the old farm sim 17 um, angled hills we can get some air using this truck the smaller engine I think is limited it's technically an aggro truck at that point and doesn't accelerate well it doesn't um, go very fast so we tend to uh, go with the bigger engine because that works. So, um, oh, I'm selected on the rear. Let's select the front. So left side, I can, let's go right side so you can see. So I can adjust only left and right. I can't adjust forward and backwards. To adjust forward and backwards, you're gonna have to move the truck up and down. And then J raises the unload point and drops it, M resets it. I think I can do that. And then we drop that in there, uh, not very well. Okay. Wow, I've actually managed to get those wedged in there. Or maybe not. There we go. I don't know if I have to raise that to the top, but it certainly works a little bit better if I do. So we'll leave that there for a sec. We'll go and find a Valtra because we did not tour this yard. So not a lot going on in there. I believe we have... Okay. Nice little setup. Oh, hello, another thing. This here, for those of you who missed the last few episodes, is the larger of the small um, sugar beet, oh, sugar cane high tip trailers, came with the Platinum Edition of 17. Very handy for, um, I can tip that into a truck. Well, I could if I was in a field, but it'll just bounce around inside the shed. So, very handy for just tip, you lift it up, tip over into a truck. Um, I have seen this method used in the US. I have not seen this method used in the UK. Um, and it works on the back of a regular forage harvester, in-game forage harvester. So kind of handy that. This shed has a um, couple more AR frames. These have digestate or slurry in them, depending on how I'm feeling for the day. And if we run around here, standard in game stuff. Lexian harvester. With the corn header and on the other side, there's the uh, 
Draper. Very nice system, it's the Lexian 770, or class Lexian 770. This is made by Czech Modding. Um, it was, um, it's called the class Lexian 700 stage 4, for being Roman numerals. Um, it's a nice pack, it's the best Lexian I found in 17. Had a fair number of issues with them. Someone did produce a class Lexian 700 series for Farm Sim 19. And I had issues with the, the header staying on the ground. It used to flex like a seesaw at times. But this one for 17 works very, very nicely. Um, if we go to the store, it comes in multiple models. There's the very big one, 626 horsepower, 13,500 litre, uh, 626, 12,800, 503 for 11,000, and 503 for 10,000. I believe, okay, attach as standard. Optional headlamp cabin. Um, you can have the front loader attacher, no logo, with a logo. Um, Lexian 770, 780. Gives me a little bit more horsepower. Uh, wheel setup standard, wide tyres, Terra Track. Uh, Terra Track with wheel brace I presume and very long pipes if you want them you can have a number on the side so you could number your um, your uh, harvesters you know which one's which so again multiple sizes of pipe 770 780 this one is the 750 760 pipe large XL so it looks like the pipes come in regular lengths 740 750 so small and you uh, this one does not get the 7 XL Have numbers one to ten on the side of it. Uh, chaff spreader, radial distributors. So that I didn't notice as an option. That just has logos. That has logos. This one you can go with the chaff spreader or radial distributors. No idea what the difference is because I'm not a farmer. But anyway, those all came, I suppose we might as well stay there, headers. I believe we have the, tw yeah, we have the 1230, which is 12.3 meter. There's a 10.5 meter, nine meter, and 7.5. And then you get the corn header, which is just six meter. And uh, nice set of headers. I think, yeah, we got the big one. Um, what you have to make sure is that your pipe is long enough to reach around the edge of the, uh, the header that you buy, because otherwise you're gonna have all sorts of problems. And of course our potato harvester in game, sorry, sugar beet harvester in game thing. Um, we only ever went with the, uh, the tractor hold system because we're not professional uh, 